What's up? What's up? What's up? We're back with another video. Video. Oh, back with another video. Video. Oh. So today we're gonna be making some Cornish hens. We're gonna make these Cornish hens, and we're gonna see if we can make it do what it do, baby. So I'm gonna show you these Cornish hens that we got that we're gonna cook up for you guys. So this is what the Cornish hens looking like in the pack. Then I'm going to show you what they look like once I cut them out the pack and put them in our little uh, aluminum foil pan. All right, so now we got all our Cornish hens out and we washed them. This one looked a little bruised up, but this is what we got. We got six Cornish hens that we great cook up. All right, y'all, so we about to season our Cornish hens. Season our Cornish hens. Look at me, I don't even match. But we're going to season it with a little bit of parsley. Some parsley. I like to use parsley too because it gives it a different kind of flavor, different kind of seasoning, and a different kind of look. So we're going to season these things real good. Mm -hmm. Then we'll get up close and show you what this looks like. Then we got some complete. Hold on, I got the... I got all these doggone Cornish hens, but yet got that little bit of opening on. All right, so we got the complete on. We got the onion powder. So I like to use a lot because I got to Mike Shaw. Let me get a little closer. Oh, this thing heavy. Can y'all see it? Let me come down a little bit. All right. It smells good, and I ain't even do too much to it. We got the season salt. We're just going to finish this off because it's only a little bit in here. Okay. So we got the season salt. Oh, that's trash. Did I put garlic on here? Well, I think I did. Well, anyway, we're going to put some garlic because I don't know if I did or didn't. So we're going to use the garlic powder. Now, you know you can stuff these with whatever you want to, but being as though I don't have nothing made, I ain't going to stuff them. I'm going to use some of this hickory bacon. Now, I got to be careful with this because I don't know if this is going to be salty or not. So, we're just going to put enough just to touch each piece of the meat. Paprika. We got the rick rick. All right. So, we're going to season it with that to give it a little coloring. Look at it. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? Can't go nowhere without the black and papa. The black papa. I don't know. Have y'all ever tried white pepper? Is that better than black pepper? I'm not sure. And a little bit of lemon pepper. That look like a lot of seasonings. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I'm going to turn around and show y'all what we're looking like so far. we got to add a little bit of water to this so we can put it in the oven. So, this is what we're looking like so far. We're seasoned pretty good, so we got to make sure that when it cooks, it's going to cook in the meat. So, that's what we got so far. So far. Mm -hmm. So far. Take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Oh, Okay. So give me a second. I'm going to put the aluminum foil on here. I'm going to take the aluminum foil. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this baby up. So we're putting the aluminum foil on there. I'll add a little bit of water. We're going to add the other piece of aluminum foil. Oops. We're going to go ahead and put this in the oven and we'll be back. All right, y'all. So I'm going to put this on top of this pan right here. So I'm going to put this on top of this pan just like this. 
So when it goes in the oven, it's much easier. So I'm gonna just go ahead and slide this in the oven. So I'll put that on that pan because it's easier to um to move it in and out the stove. And not only that, I had put <laughs> one day I was cooking something not too long ago, and I put it in the oven, and I didn't know that I put a hole in the aluminum pan, it was dripping. And it had a little bit of oil in there, so it was dripping, and it was steady dripping. So it made the stove a whole mess. And let's just say that it caught on fire in the inside. And it wasn't a pretty sight, but it didn't catch nothing else on fire. It was just a little tiny fire inside. I tried to throw some water on there, so it was like... Whew. So after I did that, I was calling my husband like, Come on, you better... Yo, the stove is on fire. He's sitting there like, huh? So I'm like, the stove is on fire, dude. Let's go. The stove on fire. So I come in here. And he threw a whole lot of water on there. And let's just say, it was a big old mess. And I was like, um, I'm sorry. And I went and sat down. So he had to clean the stove. So he had to sit up here and spray it down and put this, um, and this worked wonders. It made my stove look new. This easy off, he had used a whole lot of that and put it all over the stove and left it there for 20, about 24 hours and then cleaned it up. But man, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe I caught the stove on fire. Your girl can't cook like she thought she could. But nah, that's why we put that. He said start putting that little thing underneath there so we won't poke a hole in there because I just slid in there and never paid attention to it dripping. So that's the story to that. That's why we're using that pan underneath because I don't want no problems. I do not want no problems, boo. So while we're sitting there here putting this food in the um, oven, I'm sitting up here sneaking and eating my kids' Valentine's Day gift. So I got them this little M&M's where I personalized it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Say I love you. Let me see. I put their picture on there. Can you see why is camera not okay? Well, whatever. I put their picture on there. I wrote their name on there. Well, I wrote I love you and everything else like that on there. I didn't even had to eat them like that. But this is what it came in. Then also personalized the unicorn. Got to cover up her name, but her unicorn. Got her little candy in there. And it's also a jar. So this is one of her Valentine's Day gift too. All right, so right now this is what it's looking like before we put on our barbecue sauce. So now we got some sweet and honey barbecue sauce. Slow simmer. So we're going to switch hands right here real quick. We're going to add a little bit to the top of this. Ooh, look at that drizzle, drizzle. And we're going to add it over all the barbecue. I mean, all over all the chicken. I'll make sure we coat it so it won't be too wet, but just enough. So we're gonna use this whole bottle just to try to get it. Try to get the sides, the legs, and let it run, let it run. Now we're gonna add some water to our honey. We ain't no no sauce left behind, so we're gonna shake it up. Okay. So now we're going to put back on our lid and put it back in the oven. All right, so this is the end result to the barbecue Cornish hens. You see that? Looks good, don't it? All right, so if you like this video, hit like and subscribe and don't be shy. Share it with a friend, share it with a friend, share it with a friend, share it with a friend. All right, thanks for watching.